introducing and announcing our next president. I have a lot to say about our new president. You know, I cannot tell you how inspiring, exciting, creative, and sharp, witty. I mean, those are the, the words that comes to uh, my mind. And since they joined the board, it was, uh, it was so obvious that uh, they are in a leadership role and they are going to do magic. And in the past couple of years that they have been with us, they have seriously done magic and some uh, extraordinary advancement that they uh, were able to, to make for our organization. This board member has spent the last 13 years in the supplier diversity. In their company, um, uh, they, they were able to design, develop, and build the biopharmaceutical company supplier diversity program from ground zero. This uh, board member is a past a recipient of program manager of the years from the Diversity Alliance for Science. Twice in the last five years, they received the honor of being one of the Diversity Plus Magazine's top 30 champions of diversity. They sit on various boards and councils advocating for diverse supplier interests, including NMSDC Healthcare Industry Group, CMSDC Board, and is immediate a past chair of Supplier Diversity Pharmaceutical Forum. Join me in welcoming Kathy April Rush. Thank you. Uh, I need the board of directors to stand. This was not a name and a hat process. It was formalized. There was an interview. You all had to submit a vote. And I thank you. I appreciate your, your confidence and I look forward to working with, and I know I'm gonna miss some of you because you're rolling off, but for those of you that are staying, I look forward to working with you in 2020. And for those of you rolling off, I have a job for you too. The next thanks that I have to give is to my organization, ABVI, because we have a vice president of supplier and management. He's like our equivalent CPO who from my very first meeting with him said, go out and create a program built on best practices. I wanna be compliant, but I don't want a compliance program. Do you know how to do that? I thought I was being punked. I said, I do know how to do that. He said, well, that's your instruction, go out and do that. And he has allowed me to build a program based on a foundation of best practices and to bring innovation and to tap resources when I need them. In the beginning, that was new for people. He had some folks come to him and say, why is Kathy in all of the category strategy meetings? Why is she in this risk meeting? Why is she here? And he says, you know, I think in the beginning he responded to them and he said after a while, he said, don't ask me that question again because you should understand now the connection between supplier diversity and your role. This really is like an executive on loan. I have a full-time job. And so I want to thank my organization that they're going to allow me to do this. I showed up at DA4S in year three. I heard it was a new player in town. I wanted to check it out. I immediately found value. I immediately found ROI. So I committed our company resources to it, but then I gave my time and my talent. 
And there's something special and unique about this organization. And I hope that I can keep that during my term. And most importantly, I don't want to let the board down. And Janice, I don't want to let you down. You have been nothing short of supporting. I appreciate your advice. You've done it with such class, grace, and style. And I appreciate that so much. My challenge for all of you is if you're not involved with DA4S, to get involved. There's a lot here. Who's Al you said the other day? I give you 100%. I'll give you 110. So again, thank you so much. For more information about Diversity Alliance for Science and our conferences, please visit us at www.diversityallianceforscience.com. <laughs>